Assalamu alaikum. This is Gibran with the Common Accord, and this video is about Eid al Adha, which is the second festival of Eid that Muslims celebrate called the Festival of the Sacrifice. <clears throat> this is to commemorate the sacrifice of Abraham, peace be upon him, of his son, and what the significance of it is for Muslims as to why we commemorate it is not just because of the event itself, but what the meaning is behind it. Abraham is the father of many nations. How did he become the father of many nations? What is it that justified him becoming that and having that title? When a person sacrifices something, or something that's dear to them, that translates into something that God sees and has an effect on the response from God, no matter what it is. If a person is willing to sacrifice the time that they have to help somebody, to help a homeless person, sacrifice their time to help a brother or a sister in need, sacrifice their money for helping someone go through college or helping someone finance a house or buy a car, whatever it may be. When you sacrifice something, it's something that's felt on your part. And depending on how much you feel that sacrifice and how much of a sacrifice it is to you, that's the value in God's eyes. And the response from God is indicative measure for measure in the same lane for the thing that you sacrifice for. Something that's supposed to be understood throughout the ages. When Abraham shows himself willing to sacrifice his own son for God, his name changes because his name was not always Abraham. His name was Abram, which means father. And when he does that and he's willing to sacrifice his own son, his name gets changed to Abraham, which means father of many. And what happened was because he was willing to sacrifice his son, in the same measure for measure return, multiplied by so much more because of the willingness of the sacrifice, the reward was what? That you won't just have your son. You will have sons and you will be the father of many nations. That was the reward and the blessing from God Almighty himself. That he would become a father of many because of what he was willing to sacrifice. That's why they always say, if you give money, you'll always have money. If you feed people, you'll always be fed. This is the system. This is how Allah designed it. God, the Creator, set up this system before any religion or any uh, tradition was ever set into place. This is what's, what it's been since the foundation of this universe itself. This is part of the laws of the universe. When we remember Eid al-Adha, Muslims remember the willingness of a father to sacrifice or even a person to sacrifice something that they hold dear in their heart. We not only remember what it means to sacrifice, we know what the return is. We know the value based upon the blessing that comes afterwards. So we as Muslims celebrate this holiday and I celebrate this with all my Muslim brothers and sisters and anyone else who's willing to look at this as something that's of value, feel free to celebrate it with us. And for all of you who do, Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuhu to you and yours.